today we're going to take the little pinch pot that we made last time and add pieces on to make it look more like an owl. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, make sure that it lays uh, so it stands up. So if you haven't done so already, just kind of give it a little tap on the table. And we're going to use some stuff called slip. Slip is just liquid clay. And we have to do a little thing called score if we want to add things on. Uh, if you want to join other pieces of clay together, you have to use those two things. The first thing I want to do, though, is I want to take this little marker lid and I'm going to just press in to make little eyes. And then I can take um, another carving tool like this and I could make little pupils in there. I just am turning that all around. Okay. And before I get too many details, I do want to add on some of those little wing feathers, those feathers that look like ears and maybe some wings. Okay. On this one, I just kind of carved some in. So what I'm going to do is to pinch off a piece of clay and I just take it in my fingers and I pinch like this to make a triangle. So I've got that. And sometimes you can just do a little tap on each end and it will flatten them out. So I'm going to make another one. Just pinch into a triangle like a little pizza slice. And that's going to be what I use to build on. So now I'm going to take my fork and I'm going to score on the top of his head. And I call these ears, but they're really just the feathers that make it look like they're horns, right? It's a horned owl. You don't have to make yours a horned owl, but you can. And then I have to have some slip. So I'm going to take this little paint brush and get a little slip on my brush. And I'm going to put it on this side and this side, right where I've scored. And I'm going to also put it here and here. So then I'm going to take my hand inside so I don't smush. And then I'm going to press those pieces together. And kind of use my thumb to join them in. You could also take a little tool like this and scrape little pieces of that clay on there so you don't really see a line anymore. So I'm using that almost like it's a finger. Okay, so there's still a line here. I want to kind of erase that by just smushing that in. Now it looks a little bit like the ears are too big and that's fine so now I can just kind of pinch a little bit and take parts off if I want it to look a little bit more like that otherwise it's starting to look a little bit like a wolf. Um, but maybe I'm going to go ahead and redo this eye. Maybe I want to make a little beak. So I can take the same piece here and just create a flat surface on there. There's a little cone there. And then I'm going to do the same thing where I just put some score. I score it up. Score it up. There's not going to be a whole lot of slip I need on this because it's um, a pretty small piece. And then I put this on here and just smush. And I've got this finger inside. And then I want it to kind of curve down like a little owl's beak. So I just bent that down. Pinch off the bottom. You could also just go in and do this. So one thing you can do is, I'm not going to add wings onto this one, I'm just going to draw them in on the side. And 
and then I could make some little feather marks. I'm just making little V's. Give it a little bit of character. Cut a little bit of that beak off. And there's a little owl. 